Okay, we're gonna start with what I think is the easiest, which let's start with the ladybug and hope it doesn't fly away. Ladybugs are fly dead. Um, and we'll put it in a dish. <sighs> Yeesh. Dude, this bug's on the mesh. We're gonna lose him. Do you have the lens space? Man, it's so hot in these vials. Whoa, it's happening. <gasps> oh, it's <a> dead, ladybug! <laughs> Whoa! That is sick. Is this a nine spotted lady beetle? I feel like that's more than nine spots. <laughs> What? Guys, there are almost 6,000 species of ladybugs. They're the Costinellidae family, a widespread family of small beetles commonly known as ladybugs in North America and ladybirds in Great Britain. There are almost 6,000 species worldwide and almost 500 species in just North America. He's putting it, he's stabilizing it with a book. Hold on. Nice. Not surprising that there are almost 6,000 species. That's way better. That looks so good, Flip. Um, almost 6,000 species worldwide. There are over 290,000 species of just beetles alone. Um, where's... 900, no, a million species of invertebrates describe 290,000 are just beetles. The amount of beetle species is seven times that of total vertebrate species, vertebrates being reptiles, mammals, and birds combined. I assume this is not a nine spotted ladybug or lady beetle because I count more than nine spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 40, 15, 16, 17. I don't know if it's that simple, but like I don't know why they would call it that. If they could have more than nine spots. You guys want to look at the oriental beetle? Okay, I think this oriental beetle actually might be dead. Which is fine because I had to kill it anyway. I know that sounds really sad, but uh, they're invasive, so I was going to have to kill it anyway. This ladybug is alive. Um, she just doesn't want to move. But she's moving. Look what I got, Connor. Your favorite. Why? No. Oriental beetle. Oh. Ooh, he's sticky. I'm trying to kill those, just so you know. I know. Connor used to kill a bunch of these because they're invasive. You want to tell them a little bit about them? Uh, are we on? Oh, we're okay, they can hear me. Um, yeah, these guys. Japanese beetles, um, oriental beetles, they will go through and eat uh, the leaves of a lot of crops, especially in the south, and then they'll burrow into the ground, lay their larvae, and then the larvae will pop out. Whoa. And they just multiply like crazy. Look at that. That is so cr Oh, he is alive? No, I turned him. Oh. No, he moved. His mouth parts moved. Dude, that texture is crazy. He's alive. Let's flip him over. See if you can see the the underside of him. He's like Barbara, his legs are anyway. Crazy. Wow, that is so crazy. Bugs are so sick. There's no way he's alive. He was moving a little bit, but I do think he's dead. Good. Bugs can move a lot after they die. Oh no, the ladybug's on the move. I told y'all she was alive. She's leaving. Huh? Sure. Here's another bug for you. 
Thanks. I think I literally have this one. I have another friend. This one this one's alive. Goodbye, Oriental Beetle. Guys, the ladybug's escaping. He's move oh god, yeah, right. <laughs> that's what that's what I said with the other ones. Well, you can see him. Really? Yeah, he's Wicked. hanging out. Guys, I'm putting the ladybug outside. She wants to leave. Aw, he's cute! Oh my god. Look at him looking at you. Who is that? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Does anyone know what it is? Fly, fly species. Texas? I, well, maybe it's not a fly. Dude, there's no way. There's so. There's way too many. There's no way I'm IDing this guy. But you can name him if you want. Polly. <laughs> he's. He's judging you. You got food snacks. All right. We're gonna change him out for this guy that- uh, this one's really- this is like the experiment. <laughs> Where is he? That's him. What is he? He's a little tiny- is he a beetle? He's a little guy. What is- ID him? Just a little guy. He's not a tick. He's also alive. He's doing the same thing that the ladybug did. He's freezing. I'd be scared too. It is a big day for him. License and registration, please. Don't ask him that. He doesn't know how to open his glove box. We're gonna bring the caterpillar out. He's gonna look massive compared to the little guy. I meant registration. I didn't mean legislation. The caterpillar's still on his stick. He's still uh, threatening to whatever me. I don't really know what it means. He's producing silk. Kind of cool. All right, this one we might be able to to figure out. Um, caterpillar species. You can change to just the macro. Um, black swallowtail. Is it really? Um, it's so hard to tell. Wait, someone ID this. Wait. Oh, that was that's Paul. Paul is Nisius Raffinus, which common name is a, a cinch bug. The projections from the caterpillar's head are forked glands called osmeterium. When the caterpillar believes it's in danger, it will release these glands, glands and emit a foul odor to repel predators. That's what it was doing when I was picking them up earlier. Um, there are these, like, two orange bits that come out of his head. <laughs> Polly! He's kind of staring for all of them. There are these two orange things that came out of his head. Um... I don't know if he'll, be, if he'll stick them out. I don't want to, like, actually freak him out. Do you see them? It, it is very obvious if he actually sticks them out, trust. Okay. There's, like, a line, and I don't want to cross it. I don't want to, like, actually harass him. I thought that it would be easier for him to stick them out. <laughs> He's not doing it, though. He's just checking out the spoon. <laughs> He's, on the move. He's on the move! Wow, look at those little legs go. How crazy is that? I didn't smell, I mean, we were outside, but I did not smell anything um, when he did that. Black swallowtail butterflies are found throughout southern Canada. 
Most of the eastern and midwestern United States. What? Oh, no. Polly. <laughs> Um, and southwest into Arizona and northern Mexico. A, it's rare in the Florida Keys, apparently due to the absence of its carrot family hosts. They need carrots? <laughs> they need carrots. The carrot family hosts plants. The swallowtail butterfly is protected as an endangered species by the Federal Endangered Species Act and as a federally designated endangered species by Florida's endangered and threatened species rule. They're endangered because of habitat loss, pesticide use, and other human activities, um, and the range has been decimated. The butterfly's range and population has been decimated. The lifespan of a black swallowtail is 10 to 12 days. Most species of swallowtail have a life expectancy just around one month. Some, like the black swallowtail, lives only 10 to 12 days, while other species have been recorded to live up to 45 days. Actually, I might have been wrong about them being endangered, because I bet how many swallowtail butterfly species are there? 560, right, so like, maybe this species isn't endangered. <laughs> Of course, there are 560 species of swallowtail butterfly. <laughs> he wants leaf only? He's really cute, huh? I wish we found more caterpillars.